upper left and lower right spark plugs. So you have that redundancy. And it's very important that uh, you don't use that redundancy as a way to uh, prolong a flight in which you've experienced a loss of magneto. So if you're on a flight and you lose a magneto in flight, what, what do you think might happen? Second one might go off. Well, yeah, but I mean immediately. What's your, what's your, what tells you that you've lost a magneto? This rough. You have a loss of power because the engine runs better on two magnetos. If you switch to in each individual magneto, you'll know to drop in power. So the two magnetos provide, in addition to safety and redundancy, they also provide for more uh, complete ignition. So with only one magneto, you uh, will have a loss of power. And if you're flying on a trip somewhere, and you're up, you're up at 8,500 feet, and a magneto goes offline, and the engine power drops, and you verify by change of swapping the key from one magneto to the other, and when you turn to one, it, the engine stops, so you know that you only have one mag operating. Um, first of all, uh, you would probably want to put the ignition switch solely on the magneto that's operating, so the other one isn't kind of dragging it down or it develops a short or something that would cause the engine to have further problems. And then what would you do? Find the closest airport. Yeah, find the closest airport. You wouldn't want to land on a freeway or in a lake or something like that, you know, but head for the nearest airport and get the airplane on the ground. If you take an airplane out and check the magnetos prior to takeoff and one magneto does not operate, what should you do? Bring it back. Bring the airplane back. We had a guy that flew here once years ago, flew to the Grand Canyon in the 150, which first of all is not a good thing to do because it's a very high elevation airport and the performances we're going to talk about tonight is seriously degraded. But he did a mag check before uh, he took off and one mag was completely out. But he thought, well, nah, I've got two and I want to get home, so I'm going to take off. So he blasts off with one magneto and just, you know, Murphy's Law works in aviation just like it works in anything else there. And he got about 10 miles out of the airport and the other mag went. So he lands on a road, which is fine. She does a nice landing on the road. And uh, a little while, uh, uh, while he's descending, he calls the Grand Canyon Tower and tells him that he's lost power. He's going to land on the road. So he's out there for about 15 or 20 minutes. And here comes this, here comes this helicopter. He out and rescues him. Takes him back to the airport. And then he calls us and we fly up there with some stuff. And we repair the plane and fly it out. But about um, a month later, he gets a bill in the mail <laughs> from uh, this helicopter service for like, and this is in, it had to be 1970 or 71. He gets a bill for 600 and some dollars for helicopter rescue on this flight. So he, he learned a, a serious lesson about not taking off with a bad magneto. And the magneto is controlled by a, uh, a switch or the, your use of the magnetos is controlled by a switch, which is a ignition switch, much like the one in your car, except it's got a few extra positions. And key goes in here. And to start the airplane, normally you would turn the master switch on, and then when you're ready to do all the stuff you normally do, then you're ready to start, you turn the key all the way over to start, the propeller cranks and then you release the key and it goes back automatically when you release it to the boat position. And then prior to takeoff, you run the airplane up to whatever the man uh, manufacturer's recommended RPM is and you switch these mags, you go two clicks over to the right mag and, and observe the drop and then you go back to both, one click to the left mag, observe the drop and go back to both. Most airplanes specify a maximum drop on one mag, usually anywhere from 50 to 200 RPM, depending on the engine. And then a maximum difference between the two. So you have to watch for both of those uh, items. And then you switch back to both. And one of the things I always do, taxiing on the runway, one of the quick things I always check is to be sure that the mag switch is indeed on both, because a lot of people get careless or they get in a hurry and they just turn it and they don't put it back on both, they leave it on, on left <coughs> and end up taking off on one magneto. So always, a, as you pull out on the runway, there's a couple things that I normally look at. The windsock is a big thing. And then glance down at the, at the ignition switch. And then as you apply power, 
you look over at the oil pressure to be sure that the oil pressure is up where it belongs for takeoff power, and then observe the RPM that the RPM is up where it belongs as you accelerate down the runway. So that's that's a quickie on the ignition system and uh, the electrical fire electrical power to fire the.